Hello, welcome back to a new video game review. So recently I've been playing Death Stranding because it's 70% off on Steam now. And I wanted to play it back when it came out a few years ago, but it was just too expensive to justify the price tag and the game didn't really look like my cup of tea. So I didn't get to play the game up until now. And I'm kind of glad that I waited for the 70% price drop because without the discount, I don't really feel like it would have been worth the money. So the game is kind of weird and I've got a lot of problems with the gameplay in general. If I had to simply describe what kind of game this is, imagine you're an Amazon delivery person and you've got items to deliver. You just carry cargo and boxes from point A to point B and that is almost 80% of the gameplay. I can't think of any other game that has this kind of gameplay. I have to say the gameplay is very unique. And you know, there's a saying that goes, if no one else is doing it, it might be because it's not a very good idea. And I think it takes a special kind of person to actually enjoy the gameplay in Death Stranding. So apart from carrying boxes from point A to point B, what else you do? There is some combat and there are some enemy types in the game. And there are quite a lot of challenges that get in your way preventing you from traveling from point A to point B really easily. If it was just like walking down a road, the game would be so easy, but the game's not like that. There's barely any roads anywhere. You have to spend most of the time traversing this wild kind of scenery that's full of rocks and streams and crags and hills and mountains. And if you fall over, you damage your cargo and you damage Norman Reedus or Sam, the main character. And sometimes the game can get extremely frustrating. I reckon the gameplay falls between either very boring and tedious, and then at times extremely annoying and frustrating. The game can get very annoying when you're trying to get to your destination. You've got all this cargo you need to deliver, and you've got to get over rocks and climb over streams and avoid enemies to prevent your cargo from getting damaged. And you get some pretty nifty tools to help you traverse over the landscape you get. You get a ladder and you get a rope and you get some repair kits and food items and other things to help you along the way. Placing the ladders and the ropes can be quite fun. I really enjoy the physics and the few enemy types in the game. Well, basically there's two types of enemies. There are these kind of invisible ghost things that you either crouch and hold your breath to sneak around or you have these grenades you can throw at them then they kind of explode in this red flash. And those invisible ghost type enemies are really annoying because if they grab you or detect you, you'll get all these little black men coming out of the ground grabbing you by your feet. So you've got to try and shake them off. If you don't shake them off, you get pulled into the ground and then you kind of get dragged all the way to some random location quite far from where you started. And this massive big squid thing appears or massive big black dolphin appears. And you can either run away or you could try to fight it. And then you have to make your way back to where you started and pick up all your stuff again. It's very frustrating gameplay, to be honest. I don't really find it enjoyable. The second group of enemies are these people called mules and they will try and attack you and steal your cargo and you can't really do anything to them in the beginning of the game you've got to kind of sneak around them as you progress further into the game you start unlocking weapons first you get this rope that you can use to kind of strangle them from behind and then eventually you get this kind of gun that shoots a wire that binds them and drops them to the floor and then you can kick them in the bollocks. I quite enjoyed fighting the mule enemies, but once you get the rope wire gun, they don't really pose much of a challenge. You can just one shot, take them down with the rope, then kick them in the back. So for the majority of the game, you will be managing your inventory, trying to carry as much cargo as you can possibly carry from one point to the next point. And as you progress in the game, you'll get upgrades. You'll be able to get this exoskeleton thing that attaches to your legs so you can carry more and run faster. There's a kind of floating platform thing which floats behind you and attaches to you and you can link more than one together and also ride it down hills, which is pretty funny. And yeah, it's quite nice being able to unlock these new upgrades as you progress in the game. Made me very incentivized and motivated to carry on playing the game to see what new upgrades I'll be able to get further down the line. However, my main problem with the gameplay Play is I just didn't really feel very motivated or incentivized to actually take on as many quests and missions and delivery orders that I could and just deliver stuff. The actual gameplay is not fun, it's not really enjoyable, it's kind of stressful and annoying. All you're doing for the most part is running, you're holding down the mouse buttons to keep balance, you're trying to avoid obstacles, you're trying to get over things, and it's just like a running simulator. It's not very compelling gameplay, yes it is unique and kind of interesting in the beginning, but after a while it does start to get very tedious, and the rewards for completing a delivery are just not that great. There's no currency or money system in the game, there's no shops 
where you could spend money. Instead, you kind of get a rating depending on how fast and how efficient you delivered the items. And then you get a load of likes, kind of like on Facebook, you get a like button. There's this kind of weird social media vibe going on in the game where you can connect with other players who are playing the game as well. You don't see them in the game, but you can see the items they've left behind and the kind of signboards they've placed. And then you can like each other's signboards and structures. And then you kind of rack up likes as if it was social media. And this is fine and everything. I kind of like the social aspects to the game, but I think it would have been better if you earned money for completing the jobs and delivering the items. Because you're a delivery man, how come they don't pay you any money? How come there's no currency in the game? How come there's no shop where you could spend your money on? That would be way more interesting and make the gameplay much more addictive if they had that kind of system in the game, but they just don't. It just feels a bit pointless building up all these likes. You don't get any bonuses or helpful things in the game to assist you by having more likes. There's nothing to use the likes with. If they gave you money, from each job you complete, then I would be way more motivated to actually do as many deliveries as I could, because then I would have money to spend on things, and then they should let you buy upgrades to your gear, maybe new gear, maybe different accessories and furniture for your house or your private room, maybe vehicles and modifications. And there could have been so many different things they could have had in a shop. I found myself skipping so many of the delivery missions just because cause I'm lazy and I just couldn't be bothered to go backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards all over the map hundreds of times when the gameplay is not really that fun in the first place. And I just don't really feel this addictive dopamine hit after I finish each delivery, which would make me want to just carry on doing more and more deliveries. I just think it would be so cool if you could build a house anywhere in the game, place it wherever you want, maybe your favorite location in the game, put a house there and then you would earn money to furnish the house and upgrade the house and then add more items to it. That would have been really fun. Now, maybe I'm asking too much and maybe this could be an idea for Death Stranding 2, but wouldn't it be cool if this game was an MMO? It already kind of is an MMO because you're connected with the other players. You just can't see them. They're kind of like invisible ghosts. But I think it'd be really cool if you could see them and there were other players in the world and you could like run past them, interact with them because the world feels so empty and lifeless. There's no life in the outside world. There's no wildlife, there's no animals, there's no birds, there's no other NPCs apart from the mules and the enemies. It just feels like a very soulless cold world and it would be cool if you could see other players running by. Maybe it would be too much work to make the whole game into an MMO. I just think it'd be a cool idea. My other problem with the game are the vehicles. So in the beginning of the game, I thought there were no vehicles and you had to run everywhere and it was really boring and slow and tedious. And then later in the game, I found out, wait, there is a bike and there is a truck you can drive. And I was pretty excited about this. I didn't realize you could eventually drive the vehicles. And in the beginning, I felt so relieved that I didn't have to run all over the place everywhere. And it was so much easier driving the vehicles from point A to B. But then you kind of realize that when you get the vehicles, it removes a lot of the challenge of the game. Most of the challenge in the game before you get vehicles involves trying to hold balance, try not to fall over, trying to run over landscape, without damaging your cargo or getting injured. And now you have the vehicle, you can just drive over everything fairly easily. You can also carry way more cargo with the vehicle, which means you don't really have to worry that much about inventory management as much as you used to. So the main challenge of the game kind of shifts from in the beginning, you're using your ladders and ropes strategically and carefully to get over the rough areas of terrain without. And then after you get the vehicle, that gameplay kind of changes towards making sure you can keep your electric vehicle charged and making sure the battery doesn't die, making sure you can get to the next power generator before your battery runs out and even building your own power generators on the way. And this kind of driving aspect of the game just is not as fun or interesting as when it was just on foot, when you had to get over rivers and use ropes to, to kind of abseil down cliffs. After getting the truck and the vehicles and the motorbike, the game just became a lot easier and a lot of the challenges, a lot of the challenges in the beginning of the game just aren't really challenging anymore. So those are my thoughts on the game so far. I don't think it's an absolutely terrible game. I think the concept of the game is very unique and very interesting and I am having a fairly good time playing the game. It's currently only £16 on Steam, 70% off discount, and for that low, low price, it's very hard to not recommend trying out the game.